Welcome to another episode of MongaDB in 10 minutes or less. I'm your host, Colin Baird, and today we're going to be talking about Atlas Search, what it is, why you should care, and how to get set up. Uh, this episode is going to be broken into two segments. The first one is going to be a high-level overview of Search and Atlas Search, and then the second part is going to be a demonstration of what it looks like in an application, as well as how to set up and refine your first search index. So let's go ahead and get started. So what exactly is search? Search or full text search gives you the ability to quickly find matching data based on relevance to keywords from user generated search inputs. We'll get into how exactly search differs from a typical database query in a moment. So you're probably familiar with search functionalities from search engines like Google. You've seen it read your mind, finish your sentences, and even correct your typos. While it's easy to think that this is some kind of arcane wizardry, on the back end, Google is using sophisticated search indexes and ranking algorithms that can trove millions or even billions of results at blazing fast speeds. Now, in the modern world, search is pervasive. You've, you search Amazon, eBay, and Etsy for products, Facebook and Instagram for people and places, Netflix for shows, Salesforce for customer information, your bank account for billing records, etc. It isn't enough to just have search capabilities. You also need to ensure a combination of both speed and accuracy of the results that you're serving to your end users. If you ever used Hotbot, Yahoo, or Ask Jeeves in the early days of the web, it was readily apparent why Google cornered that market. As such, user experience is paramount. Your competition is constantly looking for ways to outperform the product or services that you provide. So you're probably wondering exactly how full text search differs from a standard database query. Well, in a typical database query, we're looking for exact matches or performing targeted operations. With search, we're not being nearly as specific. We're looking for relative matches to keywords and terms that will be returned based on how highly they score as a match to the search. So instead of returning user ID 4810's account data, it may be a Google search for a vague movie reference where all we can remember is the actor and the theme. In a typical database, we use indexes to point us to specific data points. And the more that our developers can understand about the application's query patterns, the better we can optimize our indexes to return precise results quickly. Now, the variability or inherent unpredictable nature of what a user is going to type into your search box is precisely why purpose-built search technologies were designed. These purpose-built search engines optimize for the nuances and variability of human language and factor for typos, synonyms, and correlations based on ranking and sorting mechanisms, as well as various dictionaries that developers can deploy and refine as needed. Apache Lucene is one of the most powerful and widely used search engines at the time of this video's recording. And since it's open source, it underpins various other solutions like Apache Solar, Elasticsearch, and Index Tank. So now that we have a purpose-built tool for the job we need, what's the next step? In most cases, you aren't gonna be swapping your general purpose database with a search engine. So you'll be adding a new technology to your stack. This means you'll first need to evaluate what data you want to be copied over from your production database to be indexed. This process of extracting the data from your source, transforming it to a suitable format if necessary, and loading it to your search engine is a continuous process that must be monitored and maintained for stability. If not properly maintained, your users may be served stale data or potentially just lose search functionality entirely. In addition to an ETL pipeline, you also have to navigate the other aspects that come with adding another technology to your stack. You have the complexity that's brought about from more moving parts. You have time delays for your operations team to deploy, patch, and maintain the environment, especially if you wanna make use of newly released features with each version update. And you also have a need to hire or train your developers on new syntax and query languages, all of which will add time to your release cycles and debugging. This means you potentially face a reduction in the velocity of your development team that will directly translate to more time between updates for your end users and more opportunity for your competition to catch up. And that's precisely why we built Atlas Search. 
Similar to other market-leading offerings, Atlas Search is underpinned by the most powerful and flexible open source search engine available. But with the differentiator being that it comes paired alongside your general purpose database in a fully managed format on the Atlas data platform. This means you don't have to worry about provisioning, patching, scaling, data extraction, or deviations in query syntax. By integrating into MongoDB's native aggregation framework, you can deploy and interact with search indexes on new or existing workloads in minutes, all of which while still using the Mongo query language. Atlas Search offers a robust set of core features with the ability to deploy targeted Lucene indexes on specific collections, to define your analyzers, ranking scores, character parameters, and more, all of which give you the ability to rapidly iterate on your application and provide your end users with the search features that they have come to expect in a modern application. So now in part two, I'm going to take you through a demo of what that looks like in an application and how to set up and customize your first search index. Thanks for watching.